And there we have it. Fingers crossed they're dry enough to move, I hope so. Port of animals. We're not animals. So much for a day off. Hey everyone, it's Thursday. I've just arrived at the Emporium of Awesome, or as I like to call it, the studio. We normally try and work from our individual homes on a Thursday. You might know that by now. It's never a day off, although we try and call it a day off, but it's always doing some kind of work, probably on a computer somewhere. However, that's now been interrupted today uh, because uh, we're meeting our video editor here a little bit later on because we want to discuss some things, show him some things, etc., etc. Uh, so he's on the way over for us to have a proper face-to-face -face and a sit-down chat, which is brilliant. Uh, plus, we've also got to get the paintings from yesterday's live stream out of the paint pod. Fingers crossed they're dry enough to move, I hope so. Uh, and then we've got to get the barrel set up. I just happened to walk in front of this one. This was done on the barrel machine, pretty amazing. But it's what comes off the barrel that we're interested in for this experiment. Because actually we're going to be painting for a client uh, who wants a particular style of painting. And it's what we collect underneath as the paint comes off is what's going to form the painting. So a bit of a challenge. And we've got to come in today, we, we thought we'd come in a bit earlier today, to set that up so that then when I come back in, I don't think it's going to be over the weekend, but on Monday, literally ready to go with it because I've got to get working on this quite quickly. So that is what this afternoon is all about. So a couple of things to do uh, before we go back home for the day. I'll grab a coffee and uh, yeah, might as well make a start. Okay, right, let's move on, shall we? So uh, we're going to go into the noisy paint room. Extractor's still on from yesterday, which I'm now going to put off. A familiar sight if you've seen these vlogs before. We're going to go and have a look inside and see how everything's dried from the live stream that we did yesterday. Ah, thank you very much. Ooh, oh, I say, look at that. Okay. Now that's dried very different to how I pulled it off. Yeah, I like that, mate. That's nice. Very nice. Right, on the table then. Oh, yeah. That's fab, mate. Okay. That is superb. That's pretty much as we left it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I love is. that. And then this one, this is my favourite. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's managed to keep the feathering in the middle, look. Oh, yeah. So I'm really pleased with that. And then look at this, then, the outside of these, look. The eagle has landed. It has landed, mate. Look at that. Really happy with that. Actually, what's interesting is, I don't know if we can pick that up on the camera. Can you just see there where the light hits what you think is just plain white? Actually isn't. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. There you can see it. Nice. Happy days. Right. So... With all the time it took us to assemble this just for the one hour of live streaming, we've now uh, uh, got to disassemble it all and put something else in. So everything comes down oh God. and everything, yeah, comes out and we'll start again and see if we can get the barrel in. Right, time to get our groove on. rotating barrel. Now Eddie's just uh, monitoring what's happening to the rollers on this end. So I did a little bit of manual adjustment just to make sure that everything is square and true. Just adjust the speed. There we go into supersonic. <laughs> well, I'll just allow him just to have a look at the way that the rollers are tracking at the end. So as you can imagine when this is going for a number of hours at a time, especially if we have to leave it running overnight, it's pretty important uh, that we get the tracking correct so that this doesn't feed itself into hitting uh, the knuckle on the barrel here. And that's what we're just checking for now. Okay, so part of the fun and happiness of buying half a ton of canvas on these eight rolls is now we've got to try and find somewhere to put it. So that means we've got to do a little bit of kind of uh, engineering where we kind of store everything. So Aidy's just trying to manoeuvre some stuff around because I think we're going to have to use the floor space behind some of the paintings to see if we can store it. The only downside to that is just we've already got floor space used up. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Let's just give you a recap there. So successfully now, we've just moved seven out of the eight rolls. Underneath, with a little bit of jiggering around. Happy days. No casualties, nothing dropped on the floor, nothing punctured, hurrah. So it just leaves this one to get into the pod. And actually, probably that's gonna be the hardest job because it's a bit of a squeeze in there, but we'll give it a go. Right. 
Right guys, so look at that, 20 to nine. <laughs> so we've had a meeting with our video editor uh, to go over some stuff for the future, which is really nice. I'm just looking around to make sure I've switched everything off. Uh, but yeah, we've been having a meeting for three hours, uh, pretty much constantly. So much for a day off. A day off, I hear you ask. What is this day off? No idea, never happens. Anyway, we don't care. But very productive day, but no, it really is genuinely time I went home. If you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. It's a grey rainy day, but at least we have arrived, despite the fact we're held up on the motorway for some considerable time. Oh, very nice. So this is a new development. Ah, there he is, getting wet. Mm. Very nice. Look how well trained he is. Mind you, I am as well. <laughs> I know, check my, check my socks out, dude. I'll do, I'll do your house work for you, <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, so uh, one commission painting into a couple we've just been to. I think it looks amazing, <laughs> as I think you'll agree. Looking on the video and maybe the odd still photo that we put out. Super happy, the gold looks amazing where the light hits it. Painting looks just brilliant, super happy with that. Well, the, well placed. Good, yes, good very, placed, very well really placed. Good. The only downside of the day is, is now we've got to spend four hours sat on a clogged up M25 trying to get back to home. So wish us luck, will you? Still, just see the lights on. Port of animals. We're not animals. <laughs> it's so, any civilized. Yeah, you can see up ahead on the carriageway. Look, all the traffic stops, nothing except one car pulled up. And then we've got traffic officers uh, wandering around on the carriageway. So very curious to know what kind of animal we're trying to contain. And we're off. Let's see if we can see what all the fuss is about, shall we? Oh my life. Thank goodness they got that dog. Oh. Morning all. I don't know if you can hear me, I hope you can over the noise of the extractor, but it's half past eight now on Saturday morning. The sun's blazing in the sky and I'm coming to work to carry on with commissions. I simply don't have time. I, I, I really don't, I, you know, which is great. I mean, we're very, very busy, but I'm having to reorganize, reschedule, rejuggle things all the time to try and make everything fit together in the grand scheme of things. So time juggling is very, very critical at the moment. So now anyway, what we're about to see is we're going to do a painting session on a Saturday morning when I wish I was outside enjoying the sunshine, but hey ho, needs must, I'm gonna press on. 